and he just does what we call the back sweep. And he chops me down. Boom, right to here. And then now, what does he want to do? He wants to get on top of me. Go. I can get away from you because there's nothing stopping me, right? But if we're here like this, and let's say he like uh, sets up like a scissor sweep, right? So let's have this position, and right to here, and I'm like leaning into him, and then he chops. He's already, see how hard it is for me to get away from him? Because all he's gotta do is impose his will and his hips. Boom. Now, I can get away from him, but the point is though, he has a better chance of mounting me, sweeping me tight than he does from here. Cause like, uh, like, like hip and hook right here, grab my foot, grab my foot and, uh, and put your foot on my hip. And he just kind of like pulls me out. Boop. But now look at all this distance. He's got to travel to get on top of me. And then now we're in a scramble. I'm like, I'm not playing that game. That. Yeah. Right, I'm not doing that. I don't want to let you on top. So I'm a huge fan of standing up in guard because worst case scenario is you chop me down, right? You chop me down, I fall on my butt, we scramble and we're back to here again. Because a draw is better than losing, right? Because win, lose, or draw. So if you're gonna take a risk, take a risk on drawing over losing. Does that make sense? <clears throat> now, standing up in guard, there's two ways to stand up. I can stand up and force it, or he can, okay? Because if we're in close guard like this, and I wanna stand, he's gonna do nothing. I'll get a grip, I'll get a grip, like this here, I start to take good position, boom, right to here, pow, I open the guard. I mean, and I like hit it like a can opener, right? Or two, we're here like this, and he decides to open this guard because he wants to play an open guard. That, let, let's not do that yet. Oh, okay. Put your feet on my hips, <laughs> right? Like there, wiggle back, like wiggle back, yeah, like this. This is a good reason to stand up. Because right here, if he bucks me forward, he's got a triangle right out the gate. Black, boom, see it? There it is. He's got a omoplata right there. Boop, there it is. Okay? So I got two options. Either get back in here, <laughs> but you see how close I am? He could choke me. He could arm bar me. You see how close I am? I'm giving him everything he wants. Or here by just being in this position. See my posture? My posture standing up is never like this. I am gone. He's gonna flip me that way. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Or two, here, he could arm bar me. Straight to there, boom, there it is. He could slap the triangle right to there, boom. See what I'm saying? He's got the omoplata right to there, boom. So you don't wanna be like a bear crawl. <laughs> this is bad posture, right? I wanna be like a karate man. Back one down. This is what this is, bud. I'm a black belt. <laughs> see, because just here, even if he daily heaves me, see that right there? See that hook? Okay. My, uh, you give me a little tug. Come on, you see right here? That's see, see them? But this is a karate stance. This is your front stance or your bow stance or whatever you call it, karate, right? See, and then here, see my hand? Nice. Hands to the belt. <laughs> see, because he's holding me. Oh. Or two, there's my wrist lock right there. Okay, that's my, that's your wrist lock that you want right there, okay? Nasty. So does this make sense? Okay, so we wanna stand because statistically, it makes it better for us. And two, if we're studying self-defense, get up and run. Self-defense rule number one. Some good running. Sean's on top of me here, okay? Let's just say, I just, I, you know, knee bump him, I get to here, okay? I'm gonna hit him with the bridge and roll. When I hit him with the bridge and roll, what happens now is everybody stops, okay? We have to stop stopping. So I hit him with this bridge and roll right to here. Everybody stops here. This is posture, right? Feel pretty good about it, right? Mm -hmm. And two, like here, if he tries to pull me forward, I feel pretty, pretty taut and your feet are starting to kind of get a little pressure on, right? Here, open the leg up and I can start passing. And that's good. But if we go back, Okay, and I get this trap and roll, and I start to hook, and I start doing this. 
immediately, guess what I just avoided? That closed guard. And now I'll deal with whatever I have to deal with here. Does this make sense? Yeah. So now, for now, the pass that everybody should know, right now is once you get to here, let's just say his feet go to here. Step off of that for now. You can go on the inside, the outside, or the shins. I don't care. I usually just go on the inside. Push in. Now, don't be this guy. <laughs> this is gonna jack you up, because I told you, you don't wanna be in a bear crawl stance. I'm here. That's my bullfighter. So I push in, I step, and then I'm gonna do kind of like, I don't know if you guys do this anymore in Taekwondo, but when I learned it, we did the C step. Okay? Mm. If you do judo, stand up for me. If you do judo, I'm gonna grip up. Just here, and I step, see my stance? I step, I bring my leg around, and then pop, there's my chop. So you're learning these footwork patterns, right? So he's down on his back. I stood up from the guard here. I push in, I step, I bring my leg around, I yank, boom, I'm right into the knee run. No control yet, I'm just gonna mount. He traps my arms, hold. He's gonna hit me with the old bridge and roll, boom, but he's gone. Up, 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 and then my feet are here. Immediately get your bullfighter position, push in and hit your bullfighter pass. Boom, cut to the mount. And then my turn, I trap, but I'm gone. Ha. And then we get this drill going really quick. Here he traps my arm, bang. He's gone, cause I'm trying to close my feet. Pass, don't wait, cut, boom, I'm already gone. <laughs> see what I'm saying, wow. bang, see what I'm saying? But you see that intensity too. Because the problem is, is everybody trains on five, but everybody rolls on 10. <laughs> what if you just trained on eight? Your intensity would be better. Your understanding of timing would be better. Does that make sense? So that's the drill we're gonna do, okay? So we'll start on the mount, trap and roll. Get back as fast as you can. Bottom guy. Once they've, uh, once I've trapped and rolled Zach here, or I'm sorry, is that Sean? Sean, my bad. That's okay. Here, Sean, boom, I'm gone. He's already putting his feet to my hips. Cause that is a good place to start for him in an open guard to put his feet on the hips. I'm in, what push, step, pull, knee ride. But right now, it'd be nice on a knee ride so we can all stay friends, cross the hip line. Okay, well, that's where your blue belly put it up here. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So let's get this going. I want a five minute round of this, of practice Timer. with intensity, okay? One, two, three. Guard already. Okay. Okay, so I'm in guard just like this. And what happens is, is let's just talk about a common thing. So a common open guard position. So let's just start with scissor position. Right? So if he like gets a sleeve and a, and a collar and he does that. Okay, now which way am I going to get swept? That way. Good. But... If I pull here, sit here, I'm counterbalancing because you, you try to like muscle me. Uh, uh, see, you can't because I'm counterbalancing. And that's one thing that you have to learn how to do in all elements of fighting is counterbalance. Because here, if I give him what he wants, boom, gone. Right? Okay. So. When we did that bullfighter pass, see his knees? See how they look just like this, 90 degree angle? Ah, interesting. Yeah, see what we're gonna do? Yeah. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna counterbalance and I'm gonna grab his knee here. And then I'm gonna step and stand this way. Break the grip, push in, come right to here, same move. Or, you could hit him with the old gorilla press like this. He turns to his side, gets the grips. Because what I'll do is I'll put my hand on the hip and I just stand. Right? Now from here, he puts his feet on my hips. Okay? Right to here. I start doing my horse stance, which y'all should be good at. That's your horse stance, right? That's what you're doing. 
Amazing. Because you're here, you're gripping me. See my horse stance? And then here, rip. Nice. You're gonna deal with adversity in the open guard, especially here. Get, I'll let you get to the same side. Don't do it. They don't, don't know what that is. Know what that is. Okay. So you're like here, or go here, and here. Okay. See what I'm saying? Because this looks like that, right? But I'm gonna force him to change, okay? Because we're in a relationship. And if we're gonna wrestle each other, you gotta do what I say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this way. Now this foot goes to my hip. Now from here, this is what's keeping me here. See my pressure? And then I just come and move. But there's gonna be a whole lot going on. And you kinda gotta be able to get to the position. Does that make sense? So if we just stick with the bullfighter pass. Now I'll show you some more cool stuff here on how to beat the scissor sweep and then you'll be like, oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> See, so when we're here in the scissor position, my counterbalance has to be here, okay? And if I literally just kind of like put my hand on his hip right to here and start moving here and start coming up and putting my knees behind his legs, and then here start fighting, and his feet are on my hips still. That's fine, I'm just kinda hanging out. In the right position. Okay, does this make sense? So bottom guy, get the scissor position. Top guy, get them, see how he's like on his side right here? Okay, we'll just go this way, and get him flat on his back again, and push his knees in and go. Okay. Stupid, right? Yeah. Okay? Wow. One, two, three. Thank you. But now his guard is closed. So we have to get posture. There's multiple ways to do this, okay? Um, I've seen so many ways to stand up in the guard. This is the one that I tend to use the most, and that's the one that I'm gonna show you. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is get the material and wrap it like a burrito. Got my good burrito wrap, okay? Nice and tight so nothing's popping out. Nobody likes to eat the burrito and the food just falls out. I'm gonna grab a sleeve. Okay, so if I wrap the burrito, I'm gonna grab this sleeve right here and I'm gonna push this on his belly button. And all my hands are in line. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up with, since I, I'm attacking this arm, I'm gonna post this leg. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I don't wanna be here, this is like super old school. This is how I learned it. Two here, I went like that. And then he grabs my leg. I don't want that. So what we learned was is do that instead. Okay, now from here I post. But the problem is, is people are gonna have a hard time standing up because they're not gonna put any weight in their hands. Not me, I don't feel bad. <laughs> See that? I yeah. think I heard his back yeah. yeah. <laughs> So here, I'm gonna put all my weight into him, right to here coming up, and you'll see my back leg kinda just straighten, and then I'm gonna bring my knees to his butt cheeks. And hop up for a second. This is actually a Kung Fu thing, okay? I learned it in Kung Fu. You guys in karate and taekwondo, you do horse dance like this. Well, in Kung Fu, they do it like this. They come here and they go toes, heels, and they turn their toes in like this. This is called bai jump, right? Or yichi kum yung ma, which means go for hurting stance, okay? So imagine like you got a big old dog, like a German Shepherd, and he's standing between your legs, and uh, my dog doesn't like Ian. So I'm here like this, pinching my dog, right? So he doesn't take off, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, so that's, your, that's your, your point in your head. This is the stance that I wanna be in when I stand up. Cause I'm gonna put a lot of pressure into his butt cheeks and then I'm gonna come up and bring my hips forward like a deadlift. And you will see this pop like a soda can. Okay? So I'm here, keep him tight for me. I'm gonna go here just like this. I get right here, first thing I do, all my weight into his chest, boom, one. Now from here, my back foot, my back knee is just gonna straighten. See that? I do. So this is what makes this work. Back knee straightens, keep them, keep them locked, you good? Yeah. Now you see how my knees are in? Yichi kum yung ma. Hold this, up. <laughs> Jeez. And you see now here, yeah. I'm super tight. Now I step back in my stance, feet to the hips. Nice. We do the same drill. So now, when I get to there, so 
Sean's gonna do it. All the way down, all the way down. Okay. Okay. So wrap the burrito how you want it. Okay. Here at your sleeve. Boom. But now get your burrito higher. Higher up here. Yeah. Be like a little bit under the throat. Now I want you to come up like a three-point football stance. Boom. Yes. Now see how your legs are open? Yeah. Start. And the heel oh, already opened. Good. Okay, now pop up. Here. Yeah, yeah, boom. Now feet to the hips. Full fighter. Boom. Pop. Trap the arm. I told you, we're doing lots of Persian rolls. Here already. Nasty. Already there, baby. I don't have to mess with it. Because now I'm already here. One, feel my pressure in. Yes. And you see how this leg slides in first? Yes. And then that knee comes in. Okay. And then even if they're still locked, lock them. This is going to hurt you more than it is me. I'm trying. <laughs> Just <laughs> can't. <laughs> and it's a good posture. It takes years to develop, but this is the start. See that? That's what you want to get to. Right to there. And when you come up, I'm here. This leg comes up, comes in, heel, and you should be right there. And then bring your hips in, ha! Like you're deadlifting. Ha! Okay, we call that hip tilt. Squeeze the butt cheeks, all right? So let's stand up in the guard, pass the guard, knee ride mount, bridge and roll. One, two, three. Here we go, Sean. We're gonna keep on this up. So, the, so out of all the passes that I showed or the ways to get there standing up, this is the hardest one. Standing up on your own will, right? So, because his legs are locked. So that's the one we're gonna be the best at. Because any, if that's the hard, if you always practice the hardest move, then everything else is easier, right? So, practicing standing up, opening the guard, prying it open like a can opener and then dealing with the legs. If he just is a dummy and his legs are open, okay, well, I'll just pass. <laughs> Life's easier, right? But when we train, we always train, train the hardest, because then everything else will be easier. So we're here, we're gonna do all the same stuff. You're gonna lock it up here. Okay. All right, got my burrito roll. Boom, get my sleeve grip. Stand in post, see my pressure? Feel all my weight, that totally sucks. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. Okay, and then from here, I bring my knee in, pop my hips. Let go, back up, right here, which really hurts. Hit this one. Okay, cool. Yeah, just hit the other side. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I got my shin across his belly. Now, for right now, I'm being super polite because I'm on the ball of my foot right now, right? And this is the way you stay friends. But in order to be good at just holding knee ride, I'm going to take this hand to the collar and this hand to the knee. Okay, so if he starts to kind of circle a little bit, I'm just kind of riding it. See, I can push. You see? And two, by controlling his hips, I can control his hips. I can turn him that way or I can turn him this way. But I got these positions, okay? Because this helps me stop him. If he like tries to bump, boom, I'm just kind of riding. See what I'm saying? But you want to be good at this. So your first little thing is you're just going to get on here and he's going to kind of wiggle around for like 10 seconds. So, oh, bang, boom. Just like that, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then from here, and then we'll stop. And then he'll get in my guard, he'll stand up, he'll pass the guard, he'll get the knee ride. And the second he hits the knee ride, he's gonna get his two main grips and he's just gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Right, jump on me for a sec. So he's got the knee ride. Okay, like go same, 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 same right side. Just go, no, no, this game right here. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so this is your first position. Do you like the crossing here? Yeah, I, I just go anchors. So this way, just like that. Okay. So from here, I'm just gonna kind of wiggle. And he's just, boom. And you gotta get good at kind of like riding the skateboard, right? Cause when you ride a skateboard, you got one leg on it. Keep pushing with your other foot, okay? And you riding the skateboard, try not, I mean, you're imposing your will on them with your weight, but kind of just ride them, let them move a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I push into you, you push back. Not a big deal, kind of be more of a floater. You know what I mean? Because if you're just trying to anchor him, it's never going to work. That's not how life works. Because he's got hips. He's going to use them. So be moving around a little bit. Kind of just be relaxed. All right? So pass the guard. Get on top of the knee ride. Get your grips. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right? And then we're going to learn a couple transitions from the knee ride. All right? So one, two, three. Sean's down his back here. I'm in the guard. Boom. Just like this. 
get the burrito, get the stand, boom, pop up, pop, boom. Get right to here, okay? I'm hanging out, he's wiggling on me, wiggle, 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 yeah. Post, pop, hanging out, hanging out, hanging out. He, I sit up, hands to the hips. Boom, post, this leg right here, because what's he wanna do? He wants to bring his top knee in. That's not good. So when he brings his top knee in, I bring my top knee over, okay? And I kick it around, push him back down, and now I'm gonna knee right on the other side. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Go to the mount. He bumps me this way. Boom, see how my leg just kicks off? It's like I'm kicking off the motorcycle or your bicycle or your horse or your mini horse, okay? And then I'm back on knee ride again. So this is an actual, what we call knee ride drill. So I go knee ride, mount, foot hook off, knee ride. And this is a drill, okay? But then you instill the motion for the momentum. When I get to here like this and he feels that, he feels my weight, boom. And that's the perfect time to attack because the hand was on my hip. Ah. Uh, Wow, that slide up and ripped the arm. Mm. You, find, you see what I'm saying? Yes, that's so In good. the momentum. Okay. Does that so make sense? As soon as you stick your knee in, as I start to flatten out, you're lifting the shoulder to step. Okay. And right. you're just going to leave your instep in, like shoot arm. Yeah, I'm already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like when I'm here, you start to take me this way. See now here? Boom, I stop. See how your arm's already straight? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, amazing. Huh? You never arm bar when their arm's like this. You arm bar when their arm's straight. Okay. That makes sense? It does. I love that. Straight Hicks and Gracie. Don't try to rip their arm. Make them give it to you. So when I put my weight on you, put your arms out stiff. Right. My arm bar. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's like trying to bench press off the, the mount, the white mount. But you also have to remember, that's what they're going to do out there. That's a good point. Because they don't know any better. They're, they're not trained. Okay, I would never do that. I would pull you in closer to me. Right. Whisper in your ear. You know what I mean? Okay, so guys, really quick. Pass the guard, go to the knee ride. Get onto the uh, knee ride, go to the mount. Hold your hands. Back step your foot off, go to the knee ride. Go back to the mount, back step your foot off, go to the knee ride. And then let the other person do it. We're gonna do this for two minutes and we're gonna take a break. Okay, one, two, three. You got any? Huh? Turn, turn the belly. Knee, <laughs> knee. Get on your side, right? Okay. Pretty much. We'll do like we'll do a couple of them, just really quick. All right. All right. Come over on this side. This is my good knee. This is my good knee on belly escape side. Okay. So he's on my belly. Go ahead and put your leg. Okay. So sure the thing right that I want to avoid is putting my arms out. Okay. So even if he's got this hand in the collar, it's totally fine. Okay, so if he's got the hand on my collar, I have to be conscious of this hand because this hand could come over and choke me. If my arm is right here, he could rip it and do an arm bar on it. Boom, see right there? So I gotta avoid all that. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna come behind his leg. So I take this hand and I cup right here. And all I'm gonna do is clamp my elbow to my hip and then I'm just gonna kinda circle and pull his knee to the mat. Okay, now if he's a dummy and he did what he just did, I come right to here, kick my leg over the top and I arm bar him. But he's not going to do that. He's going to drop his knee to the mat. So when I get to here, I'm going to go right to here and just start to hug. Okay? And I'm so I'm blocking because I don't want him to try to X choke me still. So what I normally do is I'll catch that hand. I'll like catch it like this. Okay? And then I'll start trying to bring my knee and hip underneath him and hold him. If that doesn't happen, if that doesn't happen, or let's say he's just kind of keeping his hands more like that. Get up under like here. Here, like this. I'm going to come here. Like, let's say that's right there. Okay. I'm going to come here, hold this, move my hip out, and start coming up and pulling back. And that's just your typical escape the knees, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are, that's the easiest one. Now, worst case scenario is he just goes back to side control, right? Because he's knee on belly, and I'm just here like this. What I don't want to do is this. Because then you just get arm barred, right? So here, he's here just like this. I just hold this, 
and I just move me. Now, if he comes back side control, that's fine. He can't choke me. And then we're just back to here. Now, if you don't ever want to get knee rided again, pull him on top of you. Try to knee ride me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see? Ridiculous. So that's just dumb. That's all. Yeah, that's hilarious. So you see what I'm saying? So for now, hook it and just do this and then just keep the knees. That's the easiest one, okay? This is not my favorite one, but it's the easiest one. And two, when you learn, you'll learn five knee ride escapes, right? You learn five <laughs> knee ride escapes, and then what you do is you start to categorize them based off of simplicity. Can I get, can I get the, the uh, newest person in the room to be able to, which one do I pick for the newest person in the room? Well, I'll pick this one because it's the easiest, right? And then you categorize from beginner to intermediate or to advanced, right? That is not my favorite knee ride escape. I will show you my favorite knee ride escape, especially from the pass, okay? Because he comes around and he starts to build up right to here and then I'm already gone. Oh my God. That's my favorite knee ride escape. <laughs> I've never seen that. Never seen that one? That's my favorite. That's the leg grab pass. That's hilarious. Okay, we'll go slow. <laughs> I was like, what's he gonna do? Right, but. <laughs> What made it work really good was using the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the momentum. Because when you start pushing in on me, boom, comes around, I capture here, and, you're gonna, and I turn on my side, okay? Because I know you have to drive my, your knee down, right, to get me flat, see that? Go back. Uh, okay. So when he goes, when I stop you, I'm on my side, and I go clamp, see the clamp on your knee? Oh, Feel it? yeah, it's like rubber guard. Oh, nice. And then, I'm putting on. <laughs> I, I could, but I could. I don't heel hook people. I, I just pass. So that's my favorite one um, because of the timing of it. I don't have to like be like, oh, bottom of knee ride. But in the beginning, people that suck at escaping knee ride, they're going to be there for a while. So we got to show them one that they can use their body. So get on the knee ride, hook the arm, hold it. Pull the hip, pull the knee, and run your hips. Then turn your belly into them and get up as fast as you can. Okay? One, two, three. Does that make sense? Back escape. Back escape 101. First back escape you should ever learn. This is the easiest one. This is the seatbelt grip. He's got the hooks in. Which arm's dangerous? The top one. Let's just say the top one for right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is pinch the bottom one. Okay? And I'm going to go after the top one. And once I get it, I'm gonna get a baseball bat grip on it, right? And then from here, I don't want it on this side of me. I want it on the other side. Now if I get it on the other side and I stretch him long and I put his elbow right here on my cheek, I just pull his arm and pat, there's an arm bar right there. Beautiful, right? Like a Steven Seagal movie, whap, right? Hard to kill, okay? So from here, pinch the bottom one, grab the top one, get the grip, boom over the top. Now from here, I'm gonna fall to my side. I'm gonna put this hand on the mat right to here and I'm gonna keep it there, anchor it. What I have to do now is circularly spin into him. As I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna pin this right to here and I'm just gonna start moving my hips. And I'll circle right to the guard. Looks familiar, right? <laughs> you guys have been here before, then you can stand up and pass, okay? But this is our first back escape. Now. Um, blue belts, we just went over this, remember, a couple weeks ago? All right, because put, I put this back escape in the white belt curriculum. So here, pinch the bottom one, grab the top one. Break the grip, over the top. Fall to the side. Pressure, keep holding that there. And now from here, what I don't want to do is just stay here. Because here, he could grab my arm, and he could swing this leg over my face. He swings it over my face, he chops me back and I get arm bar, okay? I don't want that. <laughs> you guys are like, oh my God. So here, up, over, I put a little weight on it. And then here, I keep this pressure, and I move, and I circle, and I get right to position. Cool? So this is your back escape, first one. All right, I'm gonna, I'll show two today, okay? All right, one, two, three, super simple. You, so, okay, second back escape, okay? So look. Got the hooks in, 
here, seatbelt grip. Even if he's got the seatbelt grip, okay? We're gonna address, we always wanna address the neck. And when, when, when we do this, okay, I'm clamping this hand, okay? So I clamp with this side and I'm addressing this side. So even here, if I don't break the grip, I'm gonna fall to what we call, this is called strong side. Cause all he has to do is run his arm around my neck. Boom, and there's the choke. And then the other side is weak side. But now it's funny too, because weak side is actually stronger side because he's got more submissions on this side than he does on the other side, but still okay. So from here, I'm clamping right to here and I'm addressing. So with my clamp, right? I'm clamping with my elbow. I'm holding this arm right to here. Now what I'm gonna start to do is engage my leg. Start to engage. I'm gonna find his toes. Not his heel, his toes. Okay, highest point of leverage. Then from here, what I'm gonna do, start pulling that right to there. And then I'm just gonna start backing up on it. Okay? And two, as I'm backing up, and I might even step on it. Oh, sorry. Because I don't want it to go anywhere. Right? Now from here, I'm not falling to the side of him. Because if I fall to the side of him, he can now mount me. Boom, and then come up on the mount, okay? See that? I don't wanna fall to the side of him. I don't wanna be next to him. I wanna be, we're here like this. I wanna start cranking it around until I get the side control, okay? So you gotta keep your weight on him. So he gets the seatbelt grip, he's hooking me. Address, pinch, fall to the side, foot posted. Bring this knee up, see how it, 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 it pops that foot? Address it, pull those little pig, piggies. <laughs> Boom, right to there. And now, hip. Oh, what? Now from here, break the grip. And then you're right into that Kimura that you just did, right? Okay? Worst case scenario is they're gonna try to mount you. We'll deal with it. And it's okay. You should always know all the things that they can do to you. So for right now, see here, let's, so we all can see. I'm here like this, fall, boom. Just keep addressing this. If you break the grip, that's fine. Here, but you see I got all my weight on him? He feels it. I do. Here, and then from here, all my weight on him, okay? You're in a knot. All you're doing is untying the knot. Cool, one, two, three. So we're gonna learn the omoplata from the mouth first. Then we'll do it from the guard. The reason I want to teach it from the mouth is because it teaches all the tightness that you need, right? And then we learn it from the guard and then you know what the tightness is supposed to feel like and you you um, pursue that, right? Okay, so how is it going to work? I'm on the mat, right to here. He puts his hands on my hips. I pull them off. Boop, right to there. Then from here, I pick my hand that I want. And when I pick the hand that I want, I'm gonna pull my leg up and pull him to the side. And I pinch, and then I break his arm right over my leg. And I'm sitting just like this. See how easy this is? So go back, here, I pull it off, I pull this up, and I go right to here, and I pinch. Boom, right to there. Now once I get to here, I'm gonna help him out and be a friend, and just keep that hand tucked so he doesn't hurt himself. Now, all I'm gonna do is I get this right in my hip and I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna post my hand, slide over it, take this leg over the top, and he's gonna go belly down. Now, everybody's gonna show you on the internet, cross your legs like this. Don't. Keep this nice and tight. Once that's in there, his hand is in my hip pocket. I don't need my hands to keep there. I'm gonna just kind of grab his belt, or grab his shirt, or just kind of grab his armpit. My legs now are gonna come right to here. Okay, and he's super tight. Feel pretty good, Sean? Yeah. Put my hand on the mat. Come up top. There it is. See how tight it is? Let him out. And like I said, it's easier to learn this from the mount first because you learn what it's supposed to feel like positionally. And then we'll learn it from everywhere. So here, if his hands are on my hips, rip them off, slide up, pull up, Break it over the top. Just put that hand right to there. Here now, all I'm gonna do, post, step over his head, right to here. See my feet? I'm coming around, I turn them to the side. Put my hand on the mat. I'm bringing my hip and my body 
over by his hand. Just like that, okay? Let's try that first. Cool, one, two, three. We're rolling. Okay, so now we're in the guard. Same side grip, same side grip, cross grip. See it? So now what we're gonna do is I got a cross grip, I come out to the side, I'm gonna grab the side of the pants. Some people go inside, grab the leg. Uh, that's totally fine, it just creates an obstacle later. Grab the side of the pants, okay? Now when I grab the side of the pants, I'm gonna rip and I'm gonna open my legs up and I'm gonna bump this leg right to here. And as, I, as I'm doing this, I'm trying to take my heel and touch the floor, but I got the side of his pants, I'm stretching it, okay? And then two, I'm gonna keep circling and circling just to make sure he can't get up. I'm gonna take my hand here, kind of like a mouse trap, and I go, whoosh, boom, grab his pants. I keep circling, I keep all that weight on his shoulder, coming around, all that weight, pop. Wow. Okay, make sense? Good? Yeah, okay. Yep. Appreciate it. So get this grip, grab the side of the pants, rip it. You're gonna hit like a crescent kick. Whap, whap. And now I'm holding his pants and I'm just gonna keep shrimping. Shrimping, shrimping, shrimping. And I keep all that weight on, the, on his shoulder so he can't sit up. Okay? I don't want him to sit up. And then here I go here. And I put all the weight on his hips so he can't bring his knees in. And then here, I keep circling, circling until all my weight's on him. Boom. Okay. The Oma Plata. Leg-driven Kimura. Or figure four lock. Ready? One, two, three, go.